picture this, you're an engineer who's tasked with figuring out a way to make what's known as tunnel boom in trains a bit less obtrusive, let's call it. So tunnel boom is when a train enters a tunnel and the air at the front of the train begins to get super, super compressed. And as the nozzle, which is the end of the tunnel, expands, you get what's close to a sonic boom. And these things can be pretty loud. Um, some people estimate that it's as loud as a gunshot if you get to the right distance from the train. But not a nice thing to, to encounter as a citizen at all. Now, a young Japanese engineer managed to see that when kingfishers dive into water to obviously get their food, which is fish, they dive into the water and as they enter the water, there's no splash. So clearly, these birds are super aerodynamic. And what he decided to then was model his train after these kingfishers. And what he ended up building would be what we know today as the Japanese bullet train, one of the most aerodynamically efficient trains in the world, managing to actually increase its speed by 10% compared to previous designs while using 15% less energy. And also, we reduced this tunnel boom that we had the whole problem with in the first place. So this is nature sort of solving our problems a long way down the line. And this is what's known as biomimicry.